We're off to Rome. Father and son trip to celebrate Matthew's 21st birthday, starting off with ancient Rome. Right, off with Matthew. We went to uh, Istanbul last time, had a fantastic time. And then two years later, after a pandemic, we set off for the eternal city, Rome. The only problem was, the plane was delayed, the plane was cancelled. It was, got there at three o'clock in the morning, absolutely exhausted. Anyway, next day, Matthew was what? Um, tours. On the bicycle. We had a bicycle tour around the major Roman sites of Rome. We had an absolutely fantastic time. What did we see? We saw the Colosseum. We saw thousands of fountains. Pantheon. We saw lots of squares. We saw churches. What else did we the see? The Pantheon. We saw, don't forget, we loved the Pantheon. We had a, 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 a little pizza that was at the fountain. Marvelous. The fountain. Aperol the Spritz. Aperol Spritz. We love Aperol Spritz. Matthew, what do you think of the bike tour? Oh my god, bike tastic! Right. That was the morning. The morning. We only had an hour or two then, and then we had the Roman tour, and we started off back at the Pantheon. We've been to Pantheon, that, so we've done that. So what do we do next? Well, after the Pantheon, Matthew, we saw those different emperors. Yeah, uh, the kind of forum. Areas. It was yeah, astonishing. Forums. Okay, this is ancient Rome. How magnifico! Look at this. Never seen such a concentration of buildings in all my life. And we all wear triumphal arches. There's the Colosseum. Fantastic. Went up the top of the hill. It was a huge area. Just given over to Roman antiquity. Absolutely uh, fantastic. And by the end of it, we were knackered, exhausted, and so we stopped off and we kind of rolled our way back. Oh, so we had forgotten we had a tour inside the Colosseum. What a building! As impressive on the inside as the out. You know, it wouldn't take much to turn this back to its former glory as well as well as the Roman form. We love the Colosseum and it, we've all watched Gladiator 200 times. What is your name? My name is Gladiator. You know every inch of the Colosseum. So that was the Colosseum, we did that and then we were pooped, absolutely pooped. So we decided to walk back to the, uh, to the what do we think of where we're staying? Very very nice. And we had a delicious uh, two beers and uh, Italian meal, and that was the end of our first day. Hey. Well, it was pretty good, wasn't it, Matthew? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thumbs pretty up. Good. Thumbs up. Day two, and there's an awful lot more to see. Right, well, we had a slightly stressful morning waking up in time to get to the Vatican tour. Crack of dawn. At, uh, it was 8.30 a.m., which is basically the middle of the night. Uh, but we made it. Uber. Uber got us here. Um, saw the Vatican, saw the Raphael rooms, uh, saw the courtyard, saw the School of Athens painting the Sistine Chapel, which was incredible. Raphael and Michelangelo, who do you prefer? Raphael, my guy. Because? Because he was young and dramatic and an upstart, and I liked that. Um, and he painted the School of Athens. This is a good fresh day. Uh, and then... I like the Michelangelo on the, where they were touching the fingers. I thought that was pretty pretty iconic. The start of proper art, if you ask me. Yeah, the Sistine Chapel was amazing. Uh, and we had a chilled out afternoon. We saw the Arapassus, which is a sort of altar that they made for Augustus. Yeah, pretty magnifico. Pretty magnifico. Uh, and then it was food and wine, getting getting drunk on, on delicious Italian wines and having fancy hams. So we walked down the river, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We walked down the river to get to the food tour. Yeah, it was all, it was a dreamy afternoon. Very and then, chilled out. And then on to the local pub. Yes, and then in the evening, jazz in a small local pub with a couple of beers before bed. Let's just list off some of the artists that we saw yesterday in terms of the works they've done. We had Michelangelo, we had Raphael. Raphael Who else? and Michelangelo were the big two because they did the, the Vatican. Uh, we saw there was a sort of art exhibition, uh, yeah. a contemporary art exhibition coming out of it. So we saw all sorts. How do you find art, be it in car, food or sculpture? So on our final day, which is today, which is today, Lazy Start. Lazy Start, rolled into town, Local coffee, cafe. brunch, uh, learnt what I learnt, I mean, used what I learnt about pasta to have a delicious parmesan al dente pasta for lunch. We're about to get gelato and we're looking at some fountains. Oh, we didn't go. we get into the Pantheon? Yeah, yeah, we said, yeah, said that, we went to the Pantheon. Um, glad we got in, a few were shorter than we expected. So, we got into the Pantheon. What an amazing building. There's the door, and then if we start to go up, we start to see, look at that. All good stuff. All good stuff. Now, on to the big plane, home to Bristol, Matthew. Home to Bristol, hey. Bye-bye.